Hey guys, it's Maria with Evident, and today I'm gonna to walk you through how to calibrate the Medit uh, intraoral scanner series. So the calibration process is similar uh, amongst all of the different scanners, be it the 500, the 600, the 700, or the 700 wireless. Uh, typically, you've got your scanner that comes with it, and then you've got your calibration tool. And then from here, we have a variety of different ways that we would go ahead and calibrate within the Medit Link software. There's a few different reasons why you would be calibrating. First reason would be, brand new scanner, you're just getting it set up. Before you can go ahead and do your very first scan, you do have to calibrate, uh, just to make sure that you know the software has been updated, everything's good to go. Second reason would be, you know, you've reached that time limit on the software where you've pre-designated a specific set of time uh, before you're supposed to be calibrating. So I believe it's set up to like seven, 14, and 30 days. Uh, and that is something that can be modified within the Medit software depending what type of clinic you are. So if you are an ortho clinic, you know, you're doing upper lower arch bite, you know, that may not need that much calibration. So maybe extending it to a 30 day period might be sufficient. However, if you're a bit more of a prosto clinic doing a lot of all on X type cases or bars, hybrids, that kind of stuff, you may want to calibrate that a little bit sooner. Another reason why you might want to calibrate, um, you're starting to see that your scans are a little bit funny. Some things to consider is to change your tip because that might be something that might be happening. Generally speaking, the tips allow you for 100 autoclaves, but there are instances where that could be a little bit sooner depending on your autoclave system, depending on the care that you're taking with your, with your tips. So in that instance, you would be replacing your tip as well as doing a calibration just to make sure that everything is A-OK. -okay. And then the last uh, aspect of it is, you know, you've been doing a whole bunch of different cases. You haven't really quite hit that threshold. Uh, you know, you've done, a, your hygienist has been scanning all of your patients as new patient exams. Now you've got an all on X case coming in and you're just wanting to just calibrate it and make sure that everything's gonna be tickety-boo for that appointment. So you would go ahead and do a manual calibration with the tools that you're needing for that particular scanner. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, uh, you've got a variety of different ways that you can go ahead and um, kind of calibrate. So step one is if you're in your case box window, you have a variety of apps here in your top right corner. And so you can go ahead and hit the calibration wizard from there. Or if you happen to be within you know, just you click on a patient on your case box, you'll also see that there's a variety of different apps here that may be downloaded into your software and you can hit the calibration there. And then thirdly, what you can do is go into a case, open it up, get it ready for scan. And what you can do is click on the scan screen itself and there's a section there that'll allow you to calibrate. So I'm just gonna open that up here for you so that you can kind of see all three ways and I'll show you kind of how each one of those works through. Uh, so you'll see here, just as you're scanning, under when you can see whether or not your scanner is successful, there's a calibration tool there. So that's gonna be your first indication if you are needing calibration and you're just about to scan a patient. Normally this um, scanner here should be green in color. If it's needing calibration, then it will be red in color and you can actually not even proceed until it is green in color. So just a couple of little things to, to consider uh, when doing all of this. So now you can see here actually on the screen, perfect example, it's asking us to calibrate. So I'm gonna go ahead and calibrate from this eye scan screen here. I'm gonna click on this button. What's really nice too is it gives me the percentage of the battery. So, you know, there's just so many amazing things here with Medit that kind of let you know that your tools are running at its, you know, its efficiency that it should. I'm gonna hit the calibrate button here. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and take off my tip. I'm gonna put on my calibration tool. I make sure that the window with the number is on the same side as my scanning button. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and follow the wizard and walk myself through it. So it's saying to put it at position number one, which it currently is at. And then it'll ask me to turn to number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, and then lastly, last. So once that's all been taken care of, you will see that it's gonna tell you that it's calibrating, it's reading all of the information within the handpiece itself, and on your screen in your software, you should get a pass. 
If you don't get a pass, you'll go through the calibration uh, cycle again and just ensure that you get that pass so you are aware that your equipment's ready to use. So fortunate for us, we've got a pass here on the screen. I'm gonna hit complete. I'm gonna go ahead and take off my calibration tool, put its cover back on, got my tip on there, and I'm ready to go. Then from there, another way to be able to do it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and exit the screen here is through one of the calibration wizards. So as I'd shown you previously, you can either do it within a patient itself or in the case box screen. From the case box screen, I'm gonna hit the medic calibration wizard, and again, I'm gonna follow the same process. There's a screen that pops up. It'll walk you through the steps. It's just connecting to the scanner right now. With the wireless, because we're dealing with a diff little bit of a different connectivity, it can take a couple seconds. You, I can feel actually that it give it a little shake. So I'm gonna hit next to my calibration wizard. And again, I'm gonna take off my tip. I'm gonna put on my calibration. I'm gonna make sure that I am at number one. Again, the window and the number are on the button side. And then we're gonna follow the screen and continue on with the process. So again, it's at number one. Number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, and then last. So there's no harm in calibrating your scanner for whatever you're needing. Uh, so don't be you know, too concerned if you're calibrating it every other day or anything like that. Uh, you're just keeping it fresh and ready to go. So again, we have a pass, we're good to go. I'm gonna hit complete. I'm gonna take off my calibrator. I'm going to put on my tip. I'm gonna make sure that I have it secured in its cradle or in the wall mount or wherever I have my scanner. Got my tip back on my calibrator and I'm good to go. So hopefully that's helpful. Uh, feel free to reach out if you do ever have any struggles or anything like that with your calibration or if something's not working properly. Feel free to reach out to our, our service and support and we're happy to help however we can.